everybody, welcome to today's episode of Downstream Outdoors. Today on Downstream Outdoors we're starting into them fall and winter projects. Recently I was given this cow horn. Um, you can see it's pretty crusty. It's uh, just a raw horn. The guy had the uh, city had land around in his barn for about three years and he gave it to me. And you know there's a lot of projects we could make out of this horn. We could make a nice little powder horn. Um, we could make a drinking cup out of it. We could even uh, cut this down into pieces, and I've seen some really neat spoons made out of these over time. Um, the project I have in mind for a horn this size is I've always wanted to make a bugle. One of those ones you always see the warriors of old uh, bugling off in the movies. Um, hopefully this here is big enough. Um, we're going to try this. I'm out here at the Dennis Estates where he's got all the tools that can make this happen. Uh, so I figured before we clean this up, we'll see if we can get it working. Alright, now the first step we need to do is we need to determine how long the opening is inside. All we need to do that to do that is a nice piece of wire. We're going to feed that piece of wire all the way up in there, work it up in there as far as you can get it, mark it off with your fingers, pull it back out, wrap it around your horn here. Bring it up around and then just simply mark where the end of your opening is. Now from here we need to have a bit of a tube, so we're going to draw this up to here, and we're going to bring it up, and we're going to take it off right about here, and we're going to take our saw, and we're going to cut this off right here. From this point, then, we'll break out some drill bits, and we'll drill some holes in it, but for right now, let's get our cutting done. Alright, we have a nice flat cut here. Now we're going to take a, a smaller hole and we're going to drill a smaller hole into the main chamber and then we're going to use a, a bore a larger hole to make our mouthpiece on the end of this horn. Alright, the first, the first bit we're going to hit this with is a 5 30 seconds drill bit. We're going to hit this on a nice slow speed. We're going to make sure we got a good firm grip on this. We're going to go right down the dead center and we're going to try to stay in the dead center nice and slow. Uh, you can see we've made it all the way through. Now we're going to switch out. We're going to switch this up to a half inch drill bit because unfortunately that's the biggest we got tonight. We're going to give that a try with that half inch drill bit. Now what we're going to drill here is we're going to drill the actual mouthpiece almost like what you would have on a bugle, any other type of bugle or a trumpet or any kind of brass instrument. Once again, going nice and slow, we don't want to force it. Now, I don't know if I have it deep enough yet, um, this is the first one of these I've ever made so this is a lot of experimentation for me, and I don't know that I have it in me still to make this thing make sound, it's been a long time since I played an instrument, we're going to give it a try here and see what happens.
don't know. I think we're going to have to go a little bit bigger on that mouthpiece. I think my mouth's just too big for that little hole there. So we'll work that out a little bit more and see what happens. We'll give it another shot here in a couple minutes. Well, I, uh, I got it to make noise. It's definitely one of them things I need to practice at, and I'm sure the more I practice it, the better I'm going to get. I already actually started cleaning it up a bit. You can see I took it to uh, Brady Dennis's uh, belt sander here and uh, cleaned it up a little bit. I'm going to do a lot of this by hand. Uh, though over time and clean it up real nice and I may even do some carving and whatnot on it to decorate it up over time I'll bring you pictures of that as I update at the time But in the meantime, let me see if I can get this thing to make a real sound for you before we close the night out